don't start me on that. <laughs> Seriously, the wor it has gone crazy. I think the world has gone completely on its head. Happy Christmas. You wait till I get home, I'm going to tell my turkeys, it ain't, don't worry, it ain't Christmas, we're moving it. <laughs> it's all right, you got some respite, you know. <laughs> oh, I've had a word with FIFA and we're going to move Christmas, it's no problem! Fantastic! Hi there guys and welcome back to the channel. We are today looking at who we're going to draw in the FA Cup first round. We made a point of it earlier in the save that we want to get a good FA Cup run to bring some more money in. The money side of things quickly is going slightly better now. Our overall balance is staying the same. We have not got any worse. As you can see in September it improved a bit more and I think by the time we get to January and we could do a bit of work and you know trim a little bit um, you know keep bringing in more gate receipts I think we'll see this turn back towards a positive figure and hopefully by next season we can start running the club in the actual black as such rather than in the red that's really what I'm after but anyway we're going to go to the FA Cup first round draw and we're going to see who we're going to get here 87 teams wow that's a lot um, and the smallest ones are South Shields and Folkestone Invicta so that is going to be interesting. I wonder who we're going to draw here. I'd like to get a lower league t uh, team. So I'm going to draw the next team until we get something out here. See if anything interesting happens. Foxton or Torquay are going to play. Um, Gillingham. Right, Portsmouth, Cheltenham, Stockport, Mansfield. Uh, it does take a while. 78 teams to draw. Blackpool are going to play AFC Wimbledon. Right, so luckily we've got the early draw. So we have got a League One tie, which means we are going to have to go pretty strong. And even worse for us, uh, AFC Wimbledon are third. Um, so they are in and around us. So we would like an FA Cup run, but we've literally drawn <laughs> the toughest team we probably could, <laughs> apart from Bristol Rovers, would you believe it? So, yeah, all right. So AFC Wimbledon in the FA Cup first round. We'll go for it. We need to get a win. I want to get a third round tie against a bigger club. Every lower league manager does. Right? I want to prove myself against a big boy. I want to take on Leicester after they sat me in the last game. That would be lovely. Just before we take you to the goal rush, let's have a look at the financials again. And as we said just the uh, last episode, um, we are now stabilising a bit at least. Um, we made a little bit of profit last month, 150000 um this month. So that is something. Keeps our balance at 350000 thousand in the red. But progress. Once we get to January, like I said, we start making some more tweaks here and there. We have got quite a big squad. We've not had as many injuries as I expected. I have done a bit of rotation as I'll explain in the goal rush because you we've always seen from some of our results we've not <laughs> maximised um, that part of it as much. But yeah progress here. Um, we're passing the financial fair play as well which always is important you know in the football league. Um, the board are very pleased. We're doing very well. So yeah all is looking up at Blackpool. Right, and in a slight change of plan, we're going to do the Bolton game live. So I'll go rush in a minute of the two games you've missed since the last time out. Um, we've got a sellout expected. And as I said to you before, gate receipts are very important to me going forward as a manager. It's important to get the fans in. You see from the article here that's been sent to our attention in our inbox, Blackpool's game against Bolton Wanderers in the Skybet League 1 is set to be a sellout with supporters clamouring to see their team at Bloomfield Road because we're doing so well in the league because we're playing in a good way. Capacity crowd of 15,220 we normally get on average 10,000 so that's literally another 50% on top that is massive money to us so we're going to do this game live now Bolton of course have a club or a club of a massive history um, going for a tough time at the moment they're currently 16th in the league one so we can get a nice home win and hopefully keep some of those 15,000 coming back to bring some more of that money in so anyway we're going to do this game but anyway, let's catch up with the goal rush first. Let's get that done. Things have changed slightly. Lust is the nature of the game when things happen. So anyway, here are the goals that you've missed so far. Right, and as we take you to the goal rush now, you can see we had no draws the last time I left you. And now since in the two games, we've had two draws. So that's quite hilarious. Probably chose the right time to have a goal rush. Anyway, let's take you to Rochdale first. They're bottom of the league. And then Rotherham as well, who are right near the bottom, surprisingly. So probably not so good. Um, in context who we were playing but let me take you to Rochdale and we'll have a look at the goals 
So as you can see on screen, away at Rochdale, um, bottom of the league, it was second half where all that happened. Statistically, we were dominant. We'll watch the goals here. Herbie Kane got the goal on the arrow mark here. We were struggling in the first to get the goal. There we go. Herbie Kane, typical goal. Bit of space, puts it in. Great equaliser here, though, for bottom of the league, Rochdale. Look at that for a ball. Keohan on the end of it to make it one all here. And that was it up until full time. As you've noticed, no yellow cards as well. So making improvements in regard to our crunching tackling, but also doing it to a better standard and not fouling as much. Um, yeah, but not a great result. We did make a couple of changes, but we had another game that week as well. So not disastrous. Um, keeps us up towards the top of the league. Um, but it's funny to me at this point how we seem to be dropping points to the teams at the bottom of the league a lot more freely than teams at the top who we seem to be decimating on occasion. So funny old thing, football. Right, and the second goal rush is done. It's Blackpool nil, Rotherham nil. Um, I just wanted to bring you into this and show you the stats. Um, yeah, they had one shot the entire game. No, none of them on target. Um, we absolutely dominated at home, to be frank. We absolutely penned them in. It was one of those games where we were passing the ball around um, outside the box, trying to find the space for Herbie Kane or Kaputska or Kai Kai um, to score. And unfortunately, their keeper had a decent game. We didn't get a lot on target. And I gave him an absolute rollicking at full time because, you know, if you don't go up by um, two points, this is the game where we've thrown it away, to be frank. So, yeah, not ideal. Two draws from the two. But like I said, we've got this solid game against Bolton now coming up. Very important to us to get a win in this, just more for the financial element of the club, the extra element of the game here. So we have to go and put a good performance in now and turn these last two draws around. And here we go. Bolton Wanderers at home, a sellout at Bloomfield Road. 15 odd thousand in the gate today. Massive game for us. Need to put in a good performance to keep the fans coming back. If you compare to our last goal rush, we got a 0 0 draw away at 19th place, sorry, at home to 19th place um, Rotherham. That kind of shows where we need to make improvements here. You will not keep the fans coming through the gate if you're not getting the wins. So the team we've gone with today is incredibly strong. Luckily, Curtis Tilt is back at centre half after a layoff. So it's going to be Anik, Turton, Prichet. Shenko, Tilt and Bola in the midfield. Kai Kai, Spearing and Kane. Kaputska, Palmer and Alfonso. We come against a Bolton Wanderers side, which is Anik, Johnson, Diaw, uh, Moore, Gibson, Lowe, Murphy, White, Ostuma, O'Connell and Magnus up front. So, decent team against us here. They are 13th in the league, so not as terrible as what you would expect. Um, with a favourite here to give the fans a reason to go out and do something. Right, assertively to Bartos, who's had not a good reaction there. Um, I think there's a lot more to come for you, and I think you've got what it takes. And he's switched off. Wow, if he plays badly, I might have to bring him off and actually bring someone else on, like Jordan Thompson. Anyway, we're going to end the team talk. They're fairly well prepared. Oh, an interview as well. It's a big day all round. Um, I personally thought to this one. Any team would miss Sam Surridge. Um, are you confident? Our best chance is winning 11 players. You know, we don't want to get red cards. I mean, as we've seen this season so far, that makes things a lot more challenging, especially the Lincoln game away. But we're underway here at Bloomfield Road. Sellout crowd. Boller there with the early chance. Wins the throw in here. Bolton, of course, are a local rival to Blackpool. They're there in the west side of England. So this is a big, big game. Bolton Wanderers a lot of Premier League history as well. They've dropped down the divisions now. But this is a great opportunity for Blackpool here to really push on and show ourselves. The game's flying by a bit here. But as you can see from the stats, our shots and our shots on target are really dominant. Right, 22 minutes in. Come on, lads, come on. We're playing a very good style of football. I think the quality we've got now, we can hold the ball up well and compete with anyone in this league. As we take the throw in now, and Kane comes in, he's got his space! Oh! And I get excited before he shoots because you can just see what he's capable of. Anik with the easy save there. We've got the two Anics in goal today. We've had the two Kents on the pitch recently, both of them scoring for either side. Today, the two Anics. Wouldn't it be funny? They've both got own goals, I guess. Pachenko with a free kick now. Oh, off the wall. Pachenko's free kick accuracy is absolutely superb. In a minute, he's going to put one through that wall and it's going to go in right so we get towards half time here we've been dominance the fans will be entertained at least but i would like to be leading by now but second half hopefully we can push on from this the good thing is defensively we're not conceding a lot i like to see in a minute how many goals we conceded throughout the whole season but i know it's not been that many um you know what's coming i'm far from pleased right because I want to see that m bit more from them. Come on, you know, we can do better. Um, I'm going to get Kai Kai off because I don't think he's been doing that well for the last few games. Let's put Casey Palmer on the right. He can play there. 
and we're going to put Kaputska in the hole when we'll take off Kai Kai for Thompson. Thompson's the guy we call on who comes on and can normally score a goal from the left flank. So that's why we made that change. A bit of a tactical masterstroke, hopefully, but we'll see. Anyway, Bolton get us underway here now in the second half. They are a team that really want to turn their season around and push on towards the playoffs in their own right. Turson down to Palmer now in his new position on the right. Thompson said he can come on and score. Gets a strike away. Corner to Blackpool. That's a good positive change here on 46 minutes. Kaputska with a corner in now. I think um, in the next episode we're going to look at doing some work on tactics and corners. I think there, if you notice how many times now um, we've missed opportunities. Oh, that's too much free kicks close. How many times we've put the ball in and not made the most of it. We can do more from corners, no doubt about it. Right, Kane now. Can he find his space? He can't. Thompson can. Anik with a diving save there for Bolton. Coming up to the hour mark here. Blackpool still building. Our games follow a stereotypical pattern here as Delfonso goes close from the corner and Spearing now picks it up. Two players on him. Turton in the space now to come forward. We lose the highlight on the hour mark. Right, Ostuma again. Lays it off to O'Connell. Bolton have got quality. Murphy now with a strike. Luckily straight at Jack Anik, our goalkeeper, not theirs. Good stuff here. Right, clearance. Oh, goes all the way back to Bolton now. Can they launch here and come forward? Murphy now looking for something on the flank. Comes to McGuinness. Ostuma's the danger man from distance. He get. <sighs> I don't like seeing him shoot because I know what he can do. As you can see, we're still dominant here. I think it's time for another change. 66 minutes on the clock. We haven't got a lot on the bench today. I think maybe Matthew Virtue for Jay Spearing. We'll go because he's a bit more attacking than Spearing, um, but with similar stats in tackling and marking. So hopefully that will shade it here. Let's go back to encouraging, demanding some more here. Come on, Blackpool. We want to win this because we've got a sold out stadium. Come on, free kick in now. Palmer towards the back post. Tilt could pick it up now, just outside the area. Play it up to Virtue. Back to Turton. Try and find that ball across. Boller to Thompson here. Thompson coming forward to Herbie Kane. He's the main man this year, isn't he? He's carrying his team on his back. Kaputska with a strike. Palmer with a strike. Blocked and blocked. Corner. Biggest problem is trying to find the space for the strike. Palmer now to take the corner for Blackpool. Into the middle. McGuinness is defending back there. Good through ball. No, it's not. It's slightly over hit and it's gone out for a goal kick. We need more again. Come on. I can't more now I can. I'm not going to change it to attacking. In the last game, we got no highlights for the second half. And we're getting no highlights here. It's going to be another draw. Three draws from three. I can't believe it. Two minutes of added time. Come on. Last chance, Blackpool. Palmer. Let's win this late. Thompson's there. Herbie Kane with the chance. Maybe no. Herbie Kane again. He plays Kaputska and who scored. Oh, my goodness me. Would you believe it? Bartos Kaputska, you absolute lovely man. It is 1-0 to Blackpool here in the last second of the game. And that is how you bring your home supporters back for the next one. What a strike. The keeper's looking the wrong way because he's hit it so hard. Blackpool won. Bolton nil. Was he onside? I think he was, yes. The last slackness there from that left back has let us in. Kaputska's in. It's Blackpool 1, Bolton 0. Just hold on now. I've got so excited there. We threw it away now. Oh, God. Pollock just put it in there. My God. And Alec was going the other way, but it's okay. Oh, we need to calm here. The full-time whistle goes. There's going to be a party in Blackpool tonight, ladies and gentlemen. 92nd minute, Kaputska special. We have done Bolton. And I tell you what, that's the sort of game that pushes you on. Pushes you on in the confidence level. Well done, lads. That was a good win. I should say don't get too complacent, but I don't want to kill their morale. It was a last-minute winner. Let's go and enjoy the party and have a good time. We continue here. Oh, I might put us back top of the league. Oh, God, that's so amazing. What a last-minute winner. So many times in my FM series I've been done at the last minute, but today it has completely switched the other way, and rightly so. Right, one point behind Bristol Rovers, who have got a game in hand. Three points at AFC Wimbledon, who we got next in the FA Cup. So, yeah, things are really looking up. And quickly on Mufumbi, watch his three appearances away from putting nearly 40000 back into the club finances. So that would be 10% off the deficit. So, hey-ho, another little positive step. It seems to be gold is falling from the sky right now and landing on the tangerine dream that is once upon a time in Blackpool. Right, you know what, guys? Um, bearing in mind, it's going really well. I'm really enjoying the save. I really want to 
squeezing another episode. So the next episode, actually, we'll do the back-to-back of Wimbledon in the Cup and in the League. I'll be intrigued to see how the home and away performance varies and, you know, how um, we can get on against a team, which literally in the FA Cup draw in the first round is the hardest we could have got because they look third in the league, we're second. Apart from Bristol Rovers, there's no one else tougher we could have got at this time. This is the Chelsea, the Man City, the Liverpool draw of the FA Cup first round. And now it's AFC Wimbledon. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. That Bolton game was absolutely spectacular. Last minute winner to send the home fans home happy. And 15,000, hopefully, when we see Wimbledon come for the FA Cup in two days' time for the next episode, we'll see a sellout again. And we'll see those finances, which above my head here, are hanging like a hellish uh, pink sort of mess so hopefully we'll see that improve because of what's going on in the episodes but anyway thank you ever so much for watching this has been once upon a time in blackpool i'm even struggling to say it now i'm that excited by what we just saw we'll catch you next time for a wimbledon double header goodbye <laughs>